Here we have a word problem that involves an exponential function with base e. And we are going to need to solve this one for uh, this variable t that's up here in the exponent. It says, suppose that the velocity of v of t in meters per second of a skydiver falling near the Earth's surface is given by this exponential function where t is the time after diving measured in seconds. So the velocity equals 74 minus 74 times e to the negative 0.19 times t power. OK. So this equation is going to give us the speed at which someone is falling after a certain number of seconds, whatever we plug in for t. The question here says, how many seconds after diving will the skydiver's velocity be 61? So this is v of t. So that's what we're going to plug in here. And they want us to round our answer to the nearest tenth, but not to round any intermediate computations. So let's go ahead and write out this formula with the 61 plugged in for v of t. And we have 74 minus 74 e to the negative 9.19 t power. OK. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get this exponential part of it alone on one side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 74 first, get rid of that number term. So 61 minus 74, that is negative 13. And then we've got negative 74 e to the negative 0.19 times t power here. Uh, and then we can divide both sides by negative 74. So the negatives will cancel here. We'll just get 13 over 74 on the left. And on the right, we're going to just have e to the negative 0.19 t power. Now, what we can do at this point is take the natural log of both sides. When you take the net natural log of e to some power, you just get that power as your answer. The natural log and the e kind of cancel each other out. So we're going to have the natural log of 13 uh, over 74 and the natural log of e to the negative 0.19t, which makes this just negative 0.19t. So the ln of 13 over 74 equals negative 0.19 t. So what we really need to do to solve for t is just calculate this expression and divide it by negative 0.19. That looks a little complicated, but we can do all of that on the calculator. Let's, um, let's see how that goes. So let's try um, 13 divided by 74. And we want to take the natural log, so I've got to press the second function here. We'll take that natural log, and then we're going to divide that by negative 0.19. And we get 9.15. We want to round to the nearest, the nearest tenth, so 9.2 seconds. So t equals 9.2 seconds. So that is how to find uh, the time in an exponential function with base e.